In this video tutorial, we're going to learn about meta tags, and you may go, well, what do I need to learn about meta tags for? Um, the reason is, is they're quite important when it comes to search engines, because search engines read your meta tags. Now, the meta tags are actually hidden behind the web page, so I'm going to show you a little secret here that's going to help you look at your competitor's web tags. If you click on view, page source, we can see these meta tags tags here. The important ones for us are the description tag. You can see I've just written this in here. It's meant to be for Arena Lodge. I've got it on my website though. Um, and then our keywords. I'm going to explain those in more detail as we go inside. So log into your admin area, then go to settings, and then meta tags. Okay, so the first thing we need is a description, but before we do that, I'm actually going to get you to work out um, what your keywords need to be. And I've got an email that I send out to clients that we're developing content for, and I'll just read it out to you. Keywords for search engines. First, you need to identify 20 words or phrases that your customers might use when searching for your service. For example, the words below might be used for a hotel in Palmerston North near the FMG Stadium. So, keywords. The first one I normally start off with is the name of the company, because if somebody's looking for it on the web, it'll come up nice and quickly. Then I start zeroing it down by saying its location, like Palmerston North. And then I start using that word with a word that um, the customer is probably searching for. Like if I'm searching for a hotel in Auckland, I'm probably going to type Palmerston North, oh sorry, Auckland Hotel or Auckland Motel. So I add those in there. See how they're separated by commas? Um, or I might be searching for Palmerston North accommodation. And then you can start using just words by themselves as well, like Lodge, Manawatu, which is the region we're in, North Island, and if, if we're, uh, trying to target, let's say, overseas customers. We're also trying to target business customers who might be searching for the, the phrase business accommodation. Um, then if they're looking for accommodation near, like FMG Stadium, Arena One, then we put those words in there too. Um, we also want words like luxury, because uh, if we're looking for that, or maybe we're coming here for a wedding. So it's what you're trying to do is identify the words that your customers would put into a search engine. The um, thing to note about this though is don't put any um, quote marks or apostrophes or anything in there because if you do it actually breaks them. So you just do it like that. No quote marks at all. Now, once you've done those, then do the description for your website and you use as many of the keywords as possible. And all I did was co copy all of these and then put them up here and then just shift them around so I'm using as many of them as possible. So if I read it out, Arena Lodge is a hotel based in Palmerston North, New Zealand, near to the FMG Stadium. Should be a full stop there. We provide luxury accommodation for weddings, sports teams, business travellers, that is near the central city. See, so it uses most of the keywords, which is good. Um, then you want to put your copyright in. have got a couple of extra bits here as well, which for some strange reason, most web designers don't put on their website, but they're actually quite important. Um, we, we use the meta tag revisit after, and what this tells the search engines is it says, look, come back after 30 days. So if you update your website at least monthly, then the search engines are going to notice it and they're going to give you more precedence on the search engines, on the listings. Um, and then we also have this other tag which says um, expires equals negative one, which means that the page actually never expires. With a lot of events, you might actually want to put a page up and say, well, expire after 30 days because the search engines don't need to know about it after that. But in our case, we say don't expire. Now, there's another trick to this as well. Um, Keywords are useless unless they are also repeated on the pages of your website a number of times. 
um, if your most important phrase is Palmerston North Hotel, then you should repeat that from five to 15 times on your front page. Your front page is actually the most important because the search engines look at that first and then they spider their way through your other pages. Uh, if I got any other good terms for you, any other tricks? Okay, one more trick, it's not actually meta tags though, is sign up to as many free directories as you can because the more links that go to your website, again, the more prominence you get. An example is um, if I own a hotel in Palmerston North and it's exactly the same as another hotel, um, but I sign up to five free directories that link to my web page, or even just get my friends and other businesses to put a link to my web page, then I've I've got five links going to my site, which, which actually makes it more important to search engines than my competitor's website. Um, if you want to add your business and you're in the Manawatu, um, to our directory, go to manawatudirectory.co.nz. So that's what meta tags are about. Um, it, I know it doesn't look like a lot of information, but it's actually, there is actually quite a bit of information there because it's relative to the content of your website. It's no use just putting random words there that you think people might type if they're not on your pages too because search engines will know and then you just enter new meta tags and that's it